So, um, do you live here in San Antonio? Yes. And was there ever a time when you lived at the Henry B. Apartments on Vance Jackson? Yes. What apartment number did you live when you were there? Um, I don't remember the number. <laughs> Do you remember what building it was? Do you remember the building? Um, no. no. That's okay. That's okay. Um, when did you live there? Um, it was about 2020, 2021, around there. Okay. Mayor, would you mind sticking up your hand, please? All right, make sure you stick up. Okay. And do you go by Gabby? Yes. Can I call you Gabby? Sure. Okay. Um, Gabby, do, are you, uh, did you have anyone living with you at that time? Yes, um, my fiancé and, um, my daughter. And how old was your daughter when you lived at Henry B? A couple months. A baby? Yes, she's little. When was she born? Uh, in 2020. I guess what month? In December. Okay. So, in... Sorry, no. Facing the building, our apartment was on the right side. We shared separate stairwells, though. Okay. Did you share any walls? Yes. Uh, what was the, the layout of your apartment? If you were to walk in, there's like a little hallway. On the left side, it was the primary bedroom and a closet. And then it leads into a Jack and Jill restroom. And then the spare bedroom. Yes. Okay. Do you have a fireplace? Yes. Do you have a balcony? Yes. Do you see that neighbor in court today? Yes. Can you please identify that neighbor by an article of clothing? Um, suit and tie. All that record reflects that she has identified the defendant as in the release. All right. Is he the only person with a suit and tie? Can you add another description, please? Uh, glasses and beard. Oh, you see, our person with glasses and beard. Oh. Where is he? On the far right side, front right. What color tie? Oh, black. Okay. Let the record reflect that she has identified the defendant for their release. Okay. So, generally, at first, what were your concerns about Mr. Ruiz? Um, like, bef- in general, all over. Um, mainly it was just the loud music at first. Um, it was just random hours, like 12, 2 in the morning, and, um, I mean, then it was, like, the parking. Then it was the parking? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, was there ever anything that caused you so much concern that you wanted to call the police? Yes. What was that? Um, the screaming, the sounds of hitting, um, yelling, kids crying. What kind of screaming did you hear? Um, like, just cussing, yelling at them, um, the, just yelling in general, I don't know. Did you hear a male voice yelling? I heard both. And you heard a female? <coughs> Correct. Were these adult voices? Yes. Okay. Um, did you ever hear children yelling? Uh, not so much yelling, but more crying or screaming. And you had a, a, a baby at mm-hmm. the time, right? Um, 
Can you tell the difference between crying because they need something or crying from pain? Yes. What was this crying? It was harmful, like a pleading. It was, yes. Did you ever hear, as the child was crying, did she ever say anything? Mm, I did refer to uh, hear him refer to her as dad. Um, Mm-hmm. So I assumed he was the father, yes. Um, it would be like, no, dad, stop, or um, just crying in general, saying stop, or just tears, or screaming, no. Um, did you ever learn the child's name? Yes. How did you know the child's name? I heard the female voice scream Mercedes a lot, like she was blaming her for a lot of things. Um, saying things were her fault and like Mercedes stop or just really loud. Was there another child with them? Yes. Did you know the other child's name? No. Uh, did you ever hear the, another name cried out? Mm-hmm. It was always Mercedes. Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You'll have to say yes oh. or no. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was always Mercedes. Yes. yes. And, it, and you never heard any other children's name? No. And you didn't even know what the other child's name was. No, I didn't. So you were, were you ever introduced to the children? No. You only know Mercedes' name because that's what you heard screamed through. Yes. Um, how often would you hear the crying? Um, at least once a week. I mean, it was a while ago, so I can't say specifically the days, but um, it was quite often. It was a little too much, you know. Were, were there any, ever any other noises accompanying the, the crying? Yes. Of, like I said, the loud music a lot of the times. Um, hitting. You could hear, like, slaps or punches. Okay. And um, the slaps or punches, mm-hmm. um, would it be a slap What makes you think that they were slaps or punches? Well, punches are more muffled, you know, you kind of hear like a ugh in the end, and then a slap is a little bit louder, higher pitched. And I mean, it has to be loud for it to be going through the wall. And was it at the same time you heard the crying? Um, pretty much most times, yeah. Okay, so hearing the yelling and the crying and the noises put together, that's what led you to believe it was a Yes. Did you ever document anything when you would hear these? Yes. Um, Why would you document what you heard? It just felt wrong. Like, I had just had a gut feeling that something was wrong, and it just better feel safe than sorry kind of thing. And and did you call the police? Yes. And did an officer come out? Yes. Did anything happen with that? No. Did an officer ever talk to you? No. Or it was too late? Yes. Your Honor, may I approach the witness? Yes. I'm going to show you what's been labeled the state's exhibit number 85. Um, are those the notes you kept for yourself? 
Yes, I think this was a day that it was specifically bad because it was it was a really a random time for it to happen. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I was more awake because it was during the day. Okay. Yeah. And at, I don't want you to read directly from it, but if, if you need to refer to it to remember kind of the events of that night in particular. Okay. Um, when did the crime start that night? Um, I mean, around 4.30. And how long did the crying go on? Mm, About three hours. And were you trying to sleep during this? Um, I mean, I woke up because my daughter woke up, and then, um, you know, having to really put her back down just kind of around the apartment. Um, how long, um, you said this particular date, and do you recall what date this was? Uh, November 30th. Okay. Of what year? 2021. Um, about November to January. Um, and on this particular night, um, how long were you taking notes? Um, I believe I started when my daughter woke up and then until I stopped hearing things. It was about 3 p.m. Okay, so, and, and when did you start? What time did you start? Around 4. Okay, so, so from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m. you were hearing concerning mm-hmm. noises. Yes. Were these noises of a child crying? Um, here and there, yeah. Uh, did you hear a, a male voice? Yes. Okay. Could you ever make out words? Not always. Um, so, I mean, it's a wall, but it's fairly thin enough to hear what's happening, but not always full sentences, I guess. Okay, I'm showing you what has been previously admitted as State's Exhibit <clears throat> Number 80. Do you recognize this floor plan? Yes, ours is the same, just flipped the other way. Yours is flipped the other way. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Which wall, well, you said you shared a wall. Yes, the whole line on this far right side. On the right side, so the wall uh, with the bedroom, the study, and the bathroom. Correct. Okay. Was there a particular part of that wall that you shared where you heard more screaming than the others? Uh, Mostly in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Was there a particular... So, um, it's fair to say your floor plan was just flipped. Correct. So, yours was bedroom, bedroom. And closet, closet, bathroom, bathroom, study, study. Mm-hmm. And everything was just flipped. Yes, ma'am. So was your bedroom, um, was it your be- your bedroom where you heard it? Yes. Okay. Was there a particular part of the bedroom? Um, I would say mainly along the line that we shared. And then I think maybe sometimes in the closet, just maybe it just muffles through. or The closet? Mm-hmm. Do you remember any any words in particular that were screamed that stand out to you? Um, the little girl saying, no, daddy, stop. Um, am I allowed to talk about the mom as well? Or? Um, I'll, I'll stop you right there. Okay. Um, when the mom, you, you heard the mom yelling. Though. Yes. Um, was it yelling directed at Mercedes? Yes. Was she referring to her other daughter in any way? Um, not on most occasions. No, it was mainly at her. Okay. And did. 
Did the noises that you heard, could you tell if they were coming from the male or the female at all? Yeah, they're pretty distinctive. Okay, and so um, what do you feel was more frequent? Um, I would say the male. And when the noises that sounded like a male banging would happen, mm -hmm. um, was the crying different between the male and the female? Um, I believe that the crying was just more somber. Um, with the female, it was more um, like yelling words back versus just kind of quietly. So, did it sound like she was fighting back? I think she would just kind of talk back to the female in certain ways, but of course I couldn't make out exactly what she was saying to her. Okay. So when the female was yelling and there were sounds like maybe banging, um, you're saying that Mercedes would, would talk back? On some occasions, yes. Okay. When the male in your opinion, the male was making banging noises. Did you ever hear Mercedes talk back? No. I'll pass the witness. Good afternoon. My name is Julissa Collins. You did call the police? Yes. Did they come? Um, yes. Did they interview you? No. Was any action taken to your, to your knowledge? No. Did you hear them go upstairs? Um, I believe once they did. Once they did? Yes, they never went inside though. They just talked to them from the door. How do you know they never went inside? Because mm, it was a quick conversation and then they closed the door. We can hear when the door opens. A quick conversation? Mm -hmm. It seemed like it was very short. It wasn't like they came in. Do you have any idea what the nature of the conversation was? Mm, not entirely, no. And you're sure that police did not go into the apartment? Yes. Did they, did they interview the child, do you know? As far as I know, they did not. Did you ever call the police any other time? I believe I called two or three times, yes. Did the police ever come other than this? Mm, no. What did you do? You called 911 or you called directly to SAPD? 911. You called 911. At least twice more. Correct. And nobody ever responded? No, ma'am. Even by phone? Nobody ever gave me an update on anything, no. Did you ever see the police at any other time other than that one night? Um, I believe when we first started calling about like mainly noise complaints, they did show up once, but I think because it was just like a reoccurring thing, they stopped caring or... The only time you ever called about a child crying was that one time when they did come, but they only stayed outside to the best of your knowledge. I believe I called twice about the child crying. Twice? Yes. The second time they never showed up? No. And the first time they never heard about the child They never saw her, no. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Sherman. I'm finished. Yes, witness. I do have a few more questions, Sherman. Did you ever see the child? Um, on, I believe, the last day she left the apartment complex, yes. Do you recall approximately when that was? Um, I want to say February. Of what year? Of 2022, because it was just the new year. What was she doing? On that day, um, they were coming downstairs with the female. And I remember it was weird because it was a really hot day. And they were wearing big coats. Like really big puffy, like parka style jackets with like fur or something on the hood. Could you see Mercedes' arms? No. Could you see her head? Not really, no. Did she have something on her head? Just the hood. And... Was it just Mercedes? It was, and the other little girl as well. Was the mom there? Yes. Did you speak to them? No. Was Jose there? No. And where did they 
go when they got down the stairs? Um, they got into a black SUV uh, with somebody else driving. The mom got in the passenger side and the girls got in the back seat. Were they, did you notice anything about the way they were walking? Just somber, like really sad, kind of kept their heads down, not really. Um, I could tell the mom was rushing them, and I mean, personally, I always walk behind my daughter, and she was walking in front with them trailing behind. So, the daughter, which daughter was trailing behind? Both, they were both behind her. Um, And you said it it looked like she was, they were rushing? The mom was, yeah. Like, it was kind of like, get in the car, let's go. You're saying it was February. Are you sure it was February? Um, I'd say around then, yeah. You said it was a hot day. It was a random hot day because it had been like cold and hot and cold and hot. Yeah. San Antonio. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're thinking around the beginning of February or the end of February? Or I don't recall when. No. But you can recall they were wearing heavy coats on yeah. that day. Yeah, I just remember it was a hot day and it was weird because they were wearing really big coats. Were they carrying uh, luggage or bags of clothes or anything, do you know? Mm-hmm. Did you speak to these people? No. 